Reason number two why the Tampa housing market isn't going to crash? Inventory levels and prices. Let's look at a zip code that represents what's going on in Tampa, one with a wide variety of homes like 33647. That zip code includes Tampa Palms and West Meadows, Cross Creek, and much of New Tampa. As of today, there are 102 active homes for sale in this zip code. In the first quarter of last year, 184 homes sold. So compared with this time last year, there are 43% fewer homes for sale. Now, Econ 101 teaches us that a shortage of supply leads to an increase in pricing, not a crash. So is that what we've seen? Yes, the current median list price is $213 a square foot. And last year's median sold price is $204 a square foot. So while inventory levels are down by 43%, home prices are actually up by 4%. So why is everyone freaking out about a crash in the housing market? Because they're equating a large drop in the number of sales with a market crash, which it's not. True, the number of sales fell by almost 55% from 21 to 22, but that's because inventory levels were so low. And with low inventory actually comes rising prices. Rising prices does not a housing market crash make. In order for us to see our housing market crash, we're going to have to see a drop in home prices year over year, along with a trajectory in falling prices that would erase the last two years of home price gains. And we're nowhere close to seeing either of these things happening in Tampa Bay. That's reason number two why we're not going to see the Tampa housing market crash anytime soon.